Barton Pereira is one of the top tier eyewear brands in the world. Their recent involvement in the latest 007 movie, No Time to Die, where Daniel Craig as James Bond wore some of Barton Pereira's best sunglass styles, really catapulted and elevated the brand's appeal worldwide. So today I'm joined by Emma, who's from Barton Pereira, who's going to talk us through the collection and showcase some of the absolute newest styles that they've released. There's a lot more to them than just James Bond sunglasses, although that is a pretty cool title to have as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Cool, so should we start with Norton? Absolutely. This is one of the sunglasses from the movie, one. isn't it? Yeah, so this is um, the frame that was worn in the film, but in a chestnut color, which is like mm. a tortoiseshell. But you have it here in the matte tortuga gradient. And I'm gonna try it in this crystal blue color. So, same frame, but completely different look. It just goes to show how much coloration has an effect on the style of a frame. But coming back to the Norton, I mean, it was the most popular style we found uh, from the ones that he wore in the movie. There was the Joe, which was, you know, more of a square, rectangular frame that I actually thought was gonna be the most popular because it's a very formal, very James Bond-esque sunglass. Right. Whereas the Norton is definitely a bit of a more casual look, isn't it? And it's interesting to see how versatile it is because not only is it great as a sunglass, but it's fantastic as an optical as well. Yeah, and I in think any color. because of the style and because of the shape, you know, you have like kind of a straight top angle and a soft round circle. Anyone can kind of wear it, whether it's me yeah. or a gran, you know, a child. It also comes in three different eye sizes which makes it even more versatile to the retailer. Yeah, as an optician, that's an amazing feature. I can't tell you how frustrating it is when most brands in the world just make one size in every frame, because you might have someone who absolutely adores a frame, but it just doesn't fit them properly. With Barton Pereira, there's a really good chance that you can find a style in a slightly larger or slightly smaller size, and that is really helpful for clients getting their perfect pair of glasses. Anybody can wear the Norton, so it's a great starting point, and it's one of the classic styles that Barton Pereira have made for a little while, isn't it? I believe the Norton's been one of our best-selling frames for, mm. do I say, the best part of a decade, maybe? Really? Wow. <laughs> so that's a good nod to Barton Pereira's heritage, but tell us about some of the new styles and how they compare against the Norton. Maybe we should go to Domino. Uh-huh. So let's you try it in the matte Midnight, a favourite colour for men. And then we have it in the shiny black acetate. Mm. So this style as well comes in a multiple eye size. It comes in a 55, so for somebody with a larger, broad temples, we call it. Um, Big brain. But this frame, you know, completely opposite to Norton, you know, a chunky acetate, mm. something that's quite on trend right now, but still a really comfortable fit, also available in a sunglass as well. I have to say I adore this midnight blue colour. It's a really special acetate. I think they've done a fabulous job with that coloration and you see it across the Barton Pereira collection, don't you? And I think in the matte acetate, in the chunky style, mm. it's really interesting because you can really see the striation when the light hits it. And there's a lot of details to the domino, isn't there? And you see that again in other styles. For example, I really like the beveling along the top. That's one of the things that really belies the quality that you get with Barton Pereira. Yeah, it gives it another dimension. You also see the beveling here in Chisa, or mm. you call it. Kiza. <laughs> so you try the dark walnut. There's we'll no have definitive to ask Patty way of pronouncing it. How to pronounce the frame, so she names them all. I think I'm right. So I've got one of our new crystal colours on, and you've mm. got a dark walnut on. So again, just like a you know an easy frame, but the colour makes such a difference. Yeah, they, these look so radically different in the different colours, mm. even though they are the same style. Again, like you said, you've got the beveling all along the top. You can really tell when you wear them, when you see them up close, that they are handcrafted in Japan, can't you? The Japanese acetate, especially in a thicker frame, you can really feel the high polish that they use on this type of an acetate. They also use less chemicals in Japan, which makes really? it a bit more eco-friendly for producing eyewear. So if you're buying a Japanese product, it's, it's a little bit better for the environment. Literally, the finishing is immaculate, isn't it? There's not a single point on the frame that you could say is not perfectly finished, perfectly rounded, perfectly smoothed off. The attention to detail is just as good as it gets. Yeah, it's beautiful. Where should we look at next? Should we look over here at the Zorin? Sure. So you try your the favourite blue on again. Mm. I know, I'm obsessed. So this here, we have it in the shiny finish, which you actually see the light refracting through the blue a little bit more than in the matte. And let's get you to try the matte chestnut on as well. So that's super classic. That looks really nice with your eyes. 
little bit easier to wear maybe than the blue for some people. This one, like the Norton, is a great example of the super thin acetate frames that Bart and Pereira make. Yeah. They're so comfortable to wear. So let's talk about Steinman. All right. So Steinman is a newer frame in the collection. And this one you've got here in the crystal blue and then the crystal green, which is a really lovely color as well. These colored crystals are just so in right now, aren't they? They're really delicate looking, really pretty, but very easy to wear as opposed to, you know, a more dominant frame that's going to really stand out. This is a bit softer on the face, isn't it? Yeah, and I think they just kind of match with everything, you know, they, they don't overpower the face. You can wear jewelry and makeup as if you're a woman and you want to wear something like this. You know, they, they kind of blend in, but still have a bit of a sparkle to them. Some ladies worry that, and guys as well worry that by incorporating a colour, there's going to be a little bit of a clash. I think when it's crystal, it tones it down rather than it being, you know, a bright green frame. Yeah. It makes it easier and to wear every day. You love a indoor tint. I do, yeah. I think a frame like this, I'm always saying you must get a tint because it just really finishes off. You know, a pale green tint on a green frame, it ties it all together. And the same with a blue, you know, a blue tint on a blue frame. Yeah, something a bit tonal. Yeah, exactly. I think it works really well. And I, I like those kind of 10 to 20% tints where it just makes your vision a tiny bit more comfortable as well throughout the day. Like I've got on my aviator pair here, just tones down the overhead lighting. Mm. Anyway. Should we look at Capote? I guess we can. This one I mean, you like. It's my favorite. This one's beautiful, isn't it? With the filigree on the lug. Mm. and the temple. I mean, that kind of attention to detail, that craftsmanship, they didn't have to go to that level of detail, did they? Because it's not something you can even see from yeah, a Yeah, when you're wearing away. it, you don't. You don't really see it, but it's something for you as the wearer to appreciate when you look at your glasses up close and think, someone put a lot of love, a lot of attention, a lot of care into making these glasses, and it kind of makes you feel a bit more special about wearing them, doesn't it? Yeah, they look really special, these ones, don't they? They do. Again, you've got that midnight color, midnight blue. In the Matt Midnight. Matt Midnight. <laughs> I love it. I mean, that's a frame that I definitely wear myself. Really cool. And the black and gold is so kind of timeless, classic. Classic, yeah. You know, dress it up, dress it down, you can wear it every day. But if you are going to somewhere a bit special, then you definitely can put those on and feel, you know, special going with your beautiful bottom prayers. Speaking of which, this one. What's this one called? Galore. Galore, which is definitely more of a feminine style. Yeah, maybe I should try this one on. <laughs> so here you have it in the leopard. What I love about this frame is, again, how you could wear it as a statement piece on a night out, but you can also wear it kind of day to day as well. You can and dress they're so comfy as well. Mm. Because it's titanium and plated gold as well, you have the comfort, but the ability to kind of, you know, still hard wearing. Um, Again, you have all the filigree down the temple and around the lug, which makes it really beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love the way that just dances and plays with the light. It's a really nice touch. And I'm a huge fan as well of full metal sides. I think they're always a bit more comfortable, personally. Well, maybe not more comfortable, maybe just more premium feeling. They feel more sleek. They look nicer, don't they? I, I mean, think so. And I think it's a less chunky, so it's nice to adjust behind the ear a little bit. But. Yeah, I beautiful like in the black or the leopard. One. Let's do black. For me, the black and gold is the way to go. I love yeah. that. Yeah, very classic, but still very timeless and modern. Mm. So, for someone potentially looking to choose their next pair of glasses, is there any general advice that you'd give them in 2022 in terms of what to look out for, what kind of styles and colours they should be considering? I think when choosing glasses, it's important to look at your current collection of what you already have. Um, I always say that it's really nice if people bring in their glasses of what they, they currently have, so you can make them, what do you call it? You called it a wardrobe. An eyewear wardrobe. Your yes. eyewear wardrobe. So if they bring in a selection of glasses, you know, they might have a cat eye that they already have, but they might not have one of these new crystal colors. And how is that frame going to work with the other frames they already have in their eyewear wardrobe? I think one of the things to look out for though is these lovely crystal colors. You know, especially for summer, these are mm. great, you know, great accessory to wear. And then I think the other thing to, to look out for this year is the chunky acetate. I think chunky acetate right. is really making back. a comeback. Wow. Um, we're definitely seeing it in sun and in optical, but I think for a woman or a man, this is a core piece to any eyewear wardrobe that you definitely should consider having. See, one thing I don't have in my personal 
collection is like a chunky frame. Yeah, I think those are great. I mean, they come Maybe in your favourite blue. Color. Yeah, I definitely would consider that blue colour. Matte finishes for me are a really good way to go with acetates. It just makes them stand apart from, I mean, you see every brand in the world from Ray-Bans, Tom Ford doing like glossy tortoise shells. So a matte blue finish like that just makes them a lot more original, a lot more unique. Love it. So thank you very much. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Barton Pereira 2022 collection, where we've picked out some of the best pieces from within the range. It's actually a huge collection of eyewear that Barton Pereira have created, isn't it? So there's really something for everyone. But these we feel are a really good representation of the brand as a whole. So thank you so much, Emma, for taking us through yeah, it. Thanks for having us. Really enjoyed it. And we're going to meet up again to showcase the Barton Pereira sunglasses in a couple of months' time. Once right? we get some sun. Once we get some sun, <laughs> which will be nice. But thank you very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions about Barton Pereira or glasses in general, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye. And I think still keeping its kind of shape and... And rigidity. Rigidity. Start a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that in the um, outtakes of the okay. end. <laughs> Stirability.